I'm a multidisciplinary artist and I also moonlight as a mathematics teacher. This exhibition came about um, because of my involvement in the mail art community. Mail art is any piece of art that's been sent through the postal service. Um, and so it could be something where, you know, it is an actual mail artist who does it on a daily basis and they're like, okay, I'm going to mail this to another artist. Or it could be a doodle that you decide to mail to your friend. It's completely open to anyone's definition almost. I started doing mail art um, a little over a year ago as a way to push myself to make art every day. I found that working as a teacher it was really difficult to continue producing work and also that artists have this natural ten tendency to be very precious about the work that they create. And When you make art, mail art you can't be precious about what you make, you have to give it away to people all the time. Um, so I started doing that. I sent off a piece of mail art every single day for a year and pieces started coming back and that is what birthed this collection. One of the really interesting things about mail art is the way that ideas disseminate. Um, I created my collage piece because one of my pen pals mailed me a piece that was strips of a photograph collaged together. I went, oh, it's really interesting. I'll try that. And so I went through this period of like a month where all I did was collages and I don't normally produce collages. I normally produce drawings. And what's funny is this idea that one person had sent a piece to me, I started doing this whole series of pieces, and then another male artist sent me back a piece that was inspired by one of my pieces that I had sent them. And you see this, not a direct, necessarily, you know, this is my message and then you receive the message type of communication, but this kind of sideways web of communication as ideas spread out. There's an international network of male artists who you can find out either by mailing one person and then all of a sudden they pass their address, your address on to other people or you'll get a list back of people that they know that they can mail to. There's also lists on the internet. There's the um, International Union of Male Artists which is an excellent resource for people who are interested in getting involved and it just snowballs. You know what, it's funny, the vernissage for the show was the very first time that I had ever met one of my pen pals, um, Dewey, who is represented here, and I think his work is amazing, drove up from Toronto, and I got to meet him for the very first time. And it's funny because seeing someone's art, even if you're not communicating with words, you tend to get this idea about who they are, and I knew who he was. Like, he walked in the door and I was like, I bet that's Dewey. <laughs> it's pretty funny. My favorite piece of mine and also Billy Mavris that's in here is this piece. The drawing that you see underneath is mine. And I mailed it to Billy Mavris with an invitation to take part in this mail art show. I got his address from a Japanese mail artist named Raosuki Cohen, who sends out a list of all the people who've mailed him whenever he mails things to other people. Um, he emailed, he rather mailed it back to me with his own collage of a drawing on top of it again. And that to me is the spirit of mail art. It's that you take one idea, it transforms, it moves through the community, it's all about communicating ideas and also communicating with people from different contexts and different cultures. If you have access to a piece of paper, a pen and a stamp, you can participate in mail art.